uh, might be reconnecting with you. I just found a crystal that was needed for me. Over. Did you find anything on your end? Over. No, Jam. I have not found a thing, and I also don't appear to have an exit. Over. I am back at my, uh, well, not initial location, but I'm back at that big planetarium that I reached after we solved the previous puzzle. Over. Did I get in here? Oh, here we go. Aha, I was able to get back in the tunnel. I had to jump, though, so I'm crawling back up there. Over. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oops. Great. Ooh. We're gonna have to fight each other, I think. <laughs> I'm talking about me and Jan. We ain't got no pride, we just wanna buy milk. You there, Jam? Over? I am indeed there, Ari, and this creepy guy over here that keeps on telling me to steal uh, gems and make a soul shard, I think, or soul stone, as he just said, is just creeping me out. Over. Yeah, I had another cutscene. My little sword hilt is now developing into a proper sword. A few fragments were added to it. Uh, the male voice identified itself as the abbot, but they're not talking to me. I'm just, like, hearing people arguing about so-and-so is trying to deceive you, and they are doing the sin of pride or something like that. I don't know. I've got a door ahead of me. I'm going through it. Over. Roger, roger. I'm now in what looks like a brewery. Over. Oop. I am in... A room that also looks a bit like a brewery. There's a lot of uh, vines and stuff with thorns on them growing around. And let's see, there's a door over here. This is a big room. Over. Uh, what I have is a uh, collection of pipes that I can connect with some straight pipe fragments that I have. I have a couple of levers, uh, orange and blue. I have numbers pasted on places. I have some buttons that seem to move stuff around in pipes and have three oh, barrels with purple, orange, and green in them, as well as big thing connecting them all. Chances are I'm going to be mixing some stuff around over. Jam, this looks like it's going to be a huge pain in the ass. I've got what looks like a complicated furnace with left and right buttons on it and some kind of temperature gauge. Something that looks like a different type of furnace or vat of some sort that has two what looks like round deep fry pans in them and a lever with a faucet on it. I've got another lever, which doesn't seem to be attached to anything. It's next to an open spot on the wall with some tracks on it, which I can't do anything with. And then over here, I've got two books, which appear to have instructions on them for making some kind of magic potions or something like that, I guess. And I've also got a pipe section, a very large pipe section, and some kind of weird injector thing, which I can take, but I'm not sure where I'm supposed to put them over. Uh, well, I have a selection of four pipes, as far as I can tell, uh, and I can put them inside machines and rotate them as to create some sort of a pipe system over. Terrible news, Jam. I just found a little secret passage which has more pipe sections in it and which leads to even more machines which have giant pipes on them with numbers on them and I guess they can be connected up and then there's a lever at the end which I'm, I suppose is designed to connect everything all up. This looks like an extremely complicated and potentially very frustrating mega puzzle. Over. It sure does look that way. I just looked at the ceiling and I see more numbers uh, over. <laughs> Jam, I might have a little bit of a cry before we continue. Over. Uh, uh, go ahead. Over. <laughs> Alright, just give me a few minutes. Over. I wish I could cry. I'd probably feel better. All right, Jim, I'm gonna start describing in more detail what I've got in these books. Maybe it'll be helpful to you. So one of the books has got uh, 
It's open to two pages. On the left page, it shows a bucket of green sludge with an arrow pointing to a mug of green sludge. It also has a mug of yellow pointing to the mug of green sludge, as though the bucket of green goo and the yellow sludge are to be mixed. On the other page is a similar scenario. The yellow sludge pointing at a mug and also a yellow mushroom thing with suckers on it pointing at a mug, and the mug in this case has red liquid in it. Does any of that mean anything to you? Over. Uh... Some of these things, again, I have those three barrels with purple, orange, and green in them, and I have levers that correspond to either yellow or orange and blue. Over. All right, so it seems like you need these instructions to make something. Uh, the, the other one is like a clipboard with just one page. Oh my god, this looks like something out of like a magical harvest moon. There's look a, a bag of something. These on on the on the left. There's a column of four. They look like bags of powder or something like that. They each have a different symbol on them, which is a plant. I think some kind of plant, like weird mushrooms or something. Like they're not normal plants. One of them has. Oh God, how do I describe this? It's got three. It's like reddish brownish, and it's got three long sort of testicle things on it. The second one is like a blue gemstone with lighter blue wings. The third one looks like a long flower with yellow tentacles coming out the bottom. And the last one looks like a banana with a green leaf on the top, and except it's not a banana, it's like... I... like a seed pod or something. Uh, and these are next to the next column. It's got Each of them is like the, the bag plus a mug of something, and they have different colored liquids in them equals, and then it's the same plants that are on the bags. Over. Well, I think that gives me a general idea. I do believe that final description was partly for you, uh, because I think I can do one part of the process, you can do the other part of the process, and then maybe somehow in the end those two mix and we get the results over. No idea, Jam. I don't have any colored liquids here, and I don't think I have any of these bags. Do you have any of these, like, they look like burlap sacks or like paper seed bags or something. Over. I do not have any paper sacks or burlap sacks. I do have... Are, are you there, Jen? You cut out after a few seconds. Over. Uh, yep, I'm here. Uh, once again, I have colored barrels and I have colored levers. I'm think one of these might bring in colored liquids. Over. Jam, I've accidentally picked up one of the pipe sections and it won't let me put it down. And it's really annoying. I'm gonna see if I can find somewhere so I can put the pipe section over. I'll... Maybe look for big circular openings in pipes. Over. You're a genius, Jam. I do have this pipe area down here. I just need to see if there's somewhere I can place it, even though I'm sure it won't be the right place. Over. There we go. All right, I've gotten rid of the pipe. There appears to be a puzzle down here, which I would assume I could solve by myself, except I know this game and I'm sure that I can't. Over. Well, let's try to solve it together, then. Over. Well, unless you have any numbers anywhere or any pipe sections, then maybe we should save that uh, and try to deal with these liquids and things. Over. I do have numbers uh, connecting to my pipes. Over. Well, then maybe I should take all these pipe sections down and we can do that one. Over. Uh, that sounds like a good idea, over. I really hate what makes me crouch here. Alright, Jim, let's... I'm gonna come down here to where these pipes are. So starting on the very far left, I've got number one. And that is under a thing that I can put a pipe section in. And there are arrows on it that I can rotate it left or right, over. I have a similar setup. My one goes pretty long way into one of them circular sections that I can also rotate. Uh, I do believe my eventual plan is to send whatever maybe you're sending through pipe number one into one of my barrels over. 
Well, Jam, I don't really have a way to send anything through. All I can do is connect the pipes up. We've got number one pipe leads through to another thing, which has a three on it. The top of three leads to two. And then on the right, it leads to... Nothing? Maybe you have a way to move where these things are connecting on your end over? Uh, I can potentially send stuff into something else. Uh, that is true. Over like three is connected to a thing that then goes to a two and a four. Uh, we can mix something up, I suppose, over. Yeah, Jam, I don't think you're understanding what I'm looking at at all. <laughs> I, I don't have any way to put anything into these pipes. I can only connect s certain of the pipes in certain ways. Um, there's a thing on the wall that leads to station one. Station I, and then and then I can put a, a pipe section in station one. Okay, something's coming out of station one. If I replace, if I put a three, where did I put that? Oh my god. Where did I put that? Here it is. I'm, I, I'm trying to put the different pipes in a way. So if I put a T-pipe section into, oh my god. It won't let me, ugh, ah! Hold on, sorry. Rotate, rotate. Okay, what I've done now is I've rotated the T-section so that what's coming out of number one is going into the pipe that'll lead to the wall or to the right, which leads to number three. I'm so confused, Jam. Over. Uh, do you have any levers by any chance? Over. Nope. Over. But well, I do, and they start a process on my end. Uh, the things start moving through the pipes when I uh, pull either of the levers, and so I can... Uh, do something with specific pipes here and there over. I'm so tired, you guys. <laughs> I'm so tired. Jam, all I got is one little lever on the wall, which connects everything up to the wall, and then orange smoke comes out of the top section of number one, and I... Wait, hold on, and then blue smoke is happening in two, and it's blowing out of the top and the bottom of three, and then four is not connected to anything, and neither is five, six, or seven. Over. Okay, uh, this corresponds to what I'm currently doing at my end. I have blue coming into two and three. Over. Okay, what do we do with this? Over. And I do believe you have uh, pulled something, and I have red coming out of one. Over. Yeah, I have just one lever that connects it to the wall. If I close it, then uh, that flame turns off. Over. Yes, it has disappeared. Over. Jam, I don't know what to do with this information. Over. Uh, okay, uh, we have yellow, blue, and red. And we have, I have on my end, purple, orange, and green. I'm assuming we're mixing colors. Over. Jam, I have no way to mix anything. Over. <laughs> I receive your red on my end, and I have a uh, ability to do blue and yellow. Uh, so mixing, as Yasmin, for example, suggesting blue and red will give us purple. Over. Blue and red does make purple, Jam. What do we do with this information? Over. I have a barrel that can be filled with purple, which I'm assuming is going to be helpful somehow. Over. All right. I guess we probably need the recipes I have here then. So there's a yellow plus green into a thing, but I... Th the green is in a bucket, and the yellow is in like a beer mug, and they get both mixed into a bigger beer mug, which has green in it. Over. I... that I cannot comment on, uh, over. Jam, I, I think I want to write hate mail to the developers of this game, over. Nothing. It does nothing. It 
There's nothing. Can't put anything in there. Uh, so could we just start with you sending me or uh, red, and I'm gonna try and figure it out on my end over. Jim, you do remember how this game works, right? We can't do anything on our own, over. Uh, just trying to experiment over here, over. I'm pulling the lever, I'm just saying that for sure I have some piece of information that you need to know what to do, except I have no idea what that may be, over. Alright, I'm just gonna try and mix the colors to get purple, and if uh, something is gonna happen to my end, I'm gonna let you know, over. Swell, over. What is the point of this? It doesn't do anything. Uh, sorry, have you turned off uh, red over? I was just pushing these rotate buttons. Can put them back how they were over. So I guess the red. Where is it coming from and where is it going? I don't under. I thought, I thought it was coming from this. Then. Well, I guess if it's coming from this, it'll go that way. And that way. And now it's purple. What is determining he must be doing something on his end? Well, the whole thing's purple. All the, th the flame things on my end are now purple. Over. Uh, Roger, I have, I'm observing the same situation over, and I think I might know why that is. Over. I hate this. <laughs> We've uh, gone that from might have not been the right button to press over. <laughs> We've gone from a puzzle that was relatively straightforward and clear what we needed to do to one where we have too much information all at once. It's not really helpful. Jim, for a moment there, 6 and 7 were just purple, and then they just turned off. There's a pipe from 6 and 7. I think I can put a pipe section in there and send them also to 4 and 5. Do you want me to try to do that, over? Uh, no. sure. Go for it. Uh, anything works at this point, over. Don't know what else to do. I have placed the pipe section, over. Actually, maybe I'll swap that with... I'm gonna experiment on my end, over. Uh, seems like there is just uh, too much pressure. Rather, it's it's escaping and not going where it needs to be over. Oh, actually, hold on a second. Let me swap something over here. I have an idea, over. Maybe this one. Uh, go ahead, Let's over. Just go here. How about now, over? Uh, it is now all purple, and I'll try to increase the pressure over. There's actually one spot here where it's blowing out into nothing. But I don't think I have a pipe that shape that would let me fix that, over. I do believe everything needs to be sealed, over. Maybe this one here. It's not gonna do it. Do. Uh, I have a potential that. suggestion if you are able to do it later on over. Jam, I've just placed pipes so that nothing is blowing out of anywhere, but number three now doesn't have anything in it. Over. 
Okay, I'm gonna play a little bit with the ga the pressure gauge that I have right here and see what does wet over. There's not another one, is there? I hate having an extra pipe section. Put the pipe in the deep fryer. Oh, here, hold on a second. Jam, I just discovered another machine that I didn't notice before, over. Uh, what does it do, over? <laughs> Jem, that is a spectacular question. It looks very complicated. Uh, it has an N at the top, presumably to indicate north. Then there's a hexagonal panel. There are one, two, three, four, five. It, it, it's got like an array of gears on it. Five of them around the outside have what look like ladders on them. And then there's a red, two red ones that I guess can't be moved. And then there are some other ones that can be moved, and I'm moving them around. But I'm not sure what to do with them. Uh, it's very confusing. Over. I My guess is that we do not need to concern ourselves with that one right now. Over. What makes you think that? Over? Uh, because uh, I have nothing that will help you in solving that one. Over. I guess fair enough. Over. I have more rooms coming up. At least I feel like I have more rooms coming up. But first we need to solve this color, uh, color one. So yeah, uh, we need to solve the pipe thing first. Over. Jam, are you sure we need to be making purple? Over. Uh, that's well again I have I have a purple barrel I have an orange barrel and I have a green barrel and we have blue yellow and red my guess is yes we need to uh, make purple or orange or green well both have the same over jam I'm super annoyed because I have one more pipe section that I need and there's nowhere that I can put it down so I have to just carry this giant freaking pipe blocking half my screen all the time over uh, that is exactly the situation I have in my end over. Ugh. Come on now. Autofocus. Autofocus. There we go. Well, I have a proposition uh, if you're ready to act on it over. Jim, I'm literally standing here staring at the wall over. Uh, all right. Uh, could you make it so that you are only sending me red over Jim I'm not sure where it is sending to you I have red coming in from the wall and then it goes through these pipes where are you receiving it over Okay, I, uh, previously I received uh, a red through one. Over. See, the thing about that jam is that one on my end has blue in it. So if I connect it up at all, it turns purple automatically. Over. So let's see, uh, I'm currently, I'm going to take a look at my uh, things and I'm going to, uh, I think I have an idea what, uh, what kind of connections you might need to make on, on your end, because I have the starter pipes, the pipes that start pushing everything through them. Then they go to you, then they go back to me. So we need to figure out how we connect them in the most efficient way possible, while also making the mix of colors that we need to. Uh, over. Jam, I am standing here and staring at the wall. Over. Uh, I would rather you stare at the pipes. Over. Jam, the, the, this room is very small. I can see the pipes. Over. All right, so uh, I do believe that you... Boy, okay, let, let me again. Let me take a look. Over. <laughs> Need a cry break. Need a cry break. 
Uh, could you could you possibly just disconnect the the red right now? And um, I'm gonna have my own setup over here just for a second over. Uh, and uh, disconnect the. Uh, could you disconnect? Oh, goodness gracious, uh, Almighty! Uh, I'll just think over. Jim, I don't have anything connected to anything. I just have this thing on the wall thing. I can pull the thing in the wall. Now it's closed. Now I think it's not sending any. I'm not getting red now. Over. And, and yeah, uh, blue is on my end, so I'm gonna be. Uh, so could you potentially connect two? on your end to either three or four over. Two is connected to three, over. Stand over here away from the hissing. Oh, we got green. Look at that. Some fancy stuff. That hissing sound is truly driving me insane, though. Uh, could you please check how many uh, pipes just blowing into nothingness you have over? Jam one is blowing into nothingness, as in the number one directly from that. And then uh, from six and seven, it's also blowing into nothingness over. I sure do wish he would describe to me what he was doing. If I had any idea what he was actually uh, looking at, we might could be able to we, solve this uh, together. Supposedly, we should be going for purple first, though. So let's let me redo the purple. Uh, be right back over. <laughs> what a fun teamwork game! What a good team we have, working together, communicating real, real good. Should have. Uh, all right, let's once again think about your pipes. Uh, please uh, remind me again which ones are blowing into nothingness right now. Over. Jam, right now, I have red coming in from the wall, blowing into nothingness. I have green coming out of one, blowing into nothingness. I have three connected to two, both are green. I have six and seven, blow both blowing green into nothingness. Over. Uh, could you, uh, fudge, that didn't help, that didn't help my feet, uh, didn't help my thinking whatsoever, sorry, over. <laughs> Tell me something useful! I'm glad we have the walkie-talkies, otherwise could I would probably uh, is it, very Could you here. potentially connect six and seven, over? Yeah, I think I can do that. Jan, there's two ways I can connect six and seven. Either I can take the straight pipe out of three and connect six and seven, in which case uh, three will be blowing into nothingness, or I can take a T-shaped pipe and connect six and seven, uh, uh, but then the third arm of the T will either blow into nothingness or it will blow be blowing into four and five. Over. Uh, try with the three first. Over. What? Over. Uh, try the, uh, whatever you suggested with that three pipe first. Over. Three pipe? You want me to take the pipe that's connecting two and three out and move it over to six and seven? Over? Uh, yeah, try that if you can, please. Over. Okay. All right, this is a straight pipe now connecting six and seven. And a green smoke from two is now blowing into nothingness over. Okay, so as it stands, uh, we have increased the pressure. We're almost there. We now need to... Wait. Give me a second. Um, I'm currently trying to argue about the pressure. Give me a second. Over. Arguing? Who are you arguing with? You're supposed to be arguing with me. It's my whole job here. Ugh. I don't know how, how you folks at home are doing. Obviously, you're not seeing this video live. Uh, you 
course. Okay, I finally uh, realized how this pressure th gauge is working. So uh, the thing that was just uh, done on your end may be not helpful to us right now. Uh, over. Thanks for telling me that very important information. Over. You know, as, as, as it stands, I can con I can uh, um, monitor what kind of pressure we have. Uh, right now, I know that on my end, nothing is uh, just blowing into nothingness. Is there a possibility for you to just connect every single pipe to every single pipe uh, so that it just blows into each other? And uh, try turning off the red as well, if you can. Over. Turn off the red. Take that that way. That locks that in. All right, Jam. I have nothing blowing out into nothingness. Over. Oh, it's so much quieter. Oh, wonderful. I hope this is helpful to him over there. Uh, good news, the green has been filled, so now oh, we God. should start uh, working either on orange or purple. Uh, do you have a preference over? Jam, I can't imagine why I would have a preference over. Oh, I don't know, maybe you have a favorite color or something over. Jam, we gotta do both of them, right? And uh, we got, what, like 20 minutes before I am officially done? So why don't you pick one and tell me what you need me to do, over? All right, let's start with orange, uh, which I do believe is a mix of yellow and red. Over. Jam, the only color I have any control over is red, and I've just connected it, but uh, you need to turn off all the blue. Over. Uh, Roger, Roger. We'll try to uh, redo things on mine then. Over. That's good. All right, Jam, I've got orange on one, two, six, and seven, and nothing is blowing out of any of the pipes over. Uh, super, I do believe it's now on mine. I'm gonna try and figure out how this works over. I'm assuming it'll have to do more than that. If it helps, Jam, I could also very easily connect six and seven up to four and five and have orange on those as well, over. Uh, no, I do believe your setup right now is correct, so let me fiddle on my end. Uh, thanks, over. Well, Continuing to stare at the wall, over. Uh, please do, over. Oh. Game from hell. Jam, yellow, or orange smoke has just started billowing out of three. Do you need me to hook that up? I have got a pipe that I could use to connect that to the others, over. Uh, I'm uh, currently trying to figure out uh, if that's going to be needed. Over. I'll just uh, just stare at this wall then. Over. I'm probably going to have to edit these videos. It's going to be a lot of time of me standing here going. <sighs> so I think I think I think uh, if I need to send something somewhere, I need to send uh, this up to three so that Ari can send it to me from like six, seven or something nearby. Oh, pressure. Oh, we're almost there. God, it just dipped there. It's teasing me. T-section in three, straight pop in two. Okay. Uh. Jam, Jam, you're holding down your button. Uh, I was not over. I think it's a glitch over. The reason your pressure dipped is because stuff started coming out of three, and so I replaced the pipe that was there to connect it up so that nothing's blowing out over. Yeah, we'll have to figure out some way to uh, make this all work again, over. <laughs> Jam, I am literally falling asleep, over. Uh, that, that wall is, uh, not doing it for you, over. I bend down and bang my head dramatically on the table with the keyboards in the way. 
I don't know what he needs me to do because he's not freaking talking to me. I just want to reiterate to the viewers of this video. This is a game where you have to communicate constantly and work together in order to figure out what you need to do. Jar of Jam consistently thinks, oh, I'm gonna solve this on my end. Never, ever, ever learning the lesson that you cannot uh, All right, I do believe do now it's on your end, and I'll try to figure out exactly what and where. Uh, th th or I'm gonna also tell you that right now, I do not believe I need stuff coming out of two and five. Over. Jam four and five are connected, and there's nothing I can do about it. Um, I can take a pipe out of two, connect it uh, to six and seven, I guess. Rotate that, and then... Yeah, see, now there's stuff blowing out of one thing over here, which means I can't... Can you turn off to- uh, I've got orange coming in from one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I can't- I'm not sending stuff to you as far as I can tell, over. Uh, well, you're, you're sending red to me at some point, which gets converted into orange, which returns to you, which returns to me. So I overcomplicated that. You send me red, I transform it with the help of yellow into orange, orange gets sent back to you, to me, I confuse it again. But I, I hope you know what I mean. Over. I don't know of anything... The only pipe out from here is two. Everything else seems to be coming in from either you or from the wall. Over. Actually, Jam, no, that's not true. There's definitely something coming from two because it's blowing out into the air. Over. Yeah, I also have this conundrum with, with two right now, uh, as I'm not sure how to stop it. Uh, one way or the other, uh, let's think up about it a little bit more over. Think all you like, Jam. The longer you think without telling me what you're talking about, the longer I stand here and stare at the corner and do nothing. Remember, these are puzzles that you have to talk to each other to solve. That's literally the entire game over. Uh, I just really don't have time to think about what to suggest uh, with, with the chat and everything over. All right, I think for this one, uh, I do not believe we need stuff going into two. So if you could please turn off everything going into two and over. Jam, as I tried to describe to you before, I have nothing going into two. I only have orange coming out of two. Over. I have a really wild idea. Uh, over. Brilliant. Jim, the flame coming in from two has just turned off. Over. Uh, Roger, that's uh, actually not what I intended to do originally, but I think that's what we need to be. We're really close to solving this. Over. We. We. Uh, we have just filled the orange vat. I repeat, we have just filled the orange vat. Over. Hooray. I, th I thought you were going to be happy about that. Over. Hooray! Uh, are you by chance starting to hate this whole game? Over. Starting is a bit of a weak word, Jam. Over. Uh, all right, uh, we need to make purple, and I think we will be able to do that and then finish uh, for today. Uh, is that all right with you? Over. I'm standing here waiting on you. Over. Okay, so as as uh, as I understand, uh, purple is red and blue. Over. Wow, he is a genius. I only have control over the red jam. Over. Uh, well, I have the blue, so 
I just I just wanted to confirm my knowledge of colors that is incredibly poor over. Red plus blue equal purple, Jim. Over. Thank you very much. That's exactly serious? what I wanted to hear. Incredibly reassuring. Over. So what we should be doing is describing what's happening on each end, but since he's not talking to me, I don't feel like talking to him. <laughs> this is one of those games where either it will bring Already you I'm together. Already I'm considering which kind of pipes I should put in stuff over. Or it will make you hate each other. Uh, Ari, could you possibly detach... Uh, what do you have coming into one over? Jam, I, I do keep trying to explain this to you. Um, I don't have anything coming in from anywhere except the wall and two. I've got red coming in from the wall and blue coming in from two, and that's it. Over. Uh, well, as it stands, if I see it correctly, right now I have purple coming in from your side from one. Could you confirm that? Over. There is a purple flame on one, but on my end, the purple is coming out of one. Over. Let me just double check that. Hold on one moment. Over. Haha. Okay. So, the purple is going into one after all. It just doesn't show that very well on my end. Over. Uh, okay. Uh, well... The thing is, well, right now I can describe what, what's happening on my end. That would be amazing. So I do not need stuff going into one or well, from one and from four on my end. Over. Uh, four and five are connected. I can't do anything about that. I can uh, set it up so nothing is going into one. One moment. Over. Uh, that might have been a red herring, sorry. Uh, that could have been a uh, wrong instruction on my end over. Well, I've just changed the pipes so that there's nothing going into one. There is nothing going into or coming out of three. And, uh, there is purple coming out of either four or five, which is blowing into thin air because I don't have a way of hooking it up over. Blue's coming from two. Going this way. Uh, thinking Can't about my predicament over here. Uh, over. And then I can stick that there. I just connected six and seven together. Um. Four and five are connected, and I can't see what's going in or coming out, but there is purple smoke coming out of their joint pipe. Over. Uh, uh, my guess would be, uh, yeah, I, I see four uh, pipe currently billowing smoke as well because I cannot connect it just now. Over. I can change this. Oh no, because now stuff comes out of the side. Never mind, over. <sighs> Jam, are you able to turn off either six or seven, over? Uh, no, six or seven are the last in chain, and as such, I have no control over them. Over. Uh, as in, whatever we produce uh, is going to end up uh, over there, most likely. Over. Do that, but then it comes out the bottom. 
I do have an interesting idea. Theoretically, I can mix stuff before that. And maybe you can send the results into 6 and 7 over. So, Jen, the problem right now is... In order to send something into 6 and 7, I need the, the T piece. But the T piece is currently being used... All right. Okay, now I have purple smoke coming in from one, which was not there before. Hold on one moment. Over. Uh, so that that's on mine. I decided to test out what would uh, what would happen if I do not send anything to six and seven, and maybe you send it on your end over. Jam. What I have now is I've got purple. I guess coming out of one. Three is off. Something's coming in from four and five, and it's going into six and seven. Over. Uh, quickly testing things out on my end. Uh, over. But I'm pretty sure uh, we do not need uh, one in any way, because uh, one would always uh, blow stuff out on my end. Over. All right. Well, in order to not hook up one, I have to use the piece that is needed for six and seven. So, if I want 6 and 7 to not be blowing air everywhere, then I have to hook up 1. Over. Uh, yeah, uh, do that please. Over. Do what? Over. Uh, use, uh, <laughs> uh, connect 6 and 7 please. Over. 6 and 7 are already connected. Over. On my end, stuff comes out of 4 and or 5 and can be directed into six and or seven. Those are the only connections I can make there, over. Okay, uh, once again, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm, you're gonna say that you've told me this a couple of times, pretty sure, but I do not believe I have anything sending into one on my end. I'm not sending anything into one, so something on your end is sending something into one. Can you potentially disconnect it over? Jam, I can disconnect it, but the only piece I can use to disconnect that means that I can't hook up six and seven. Over. Okay, let's do that, and I'm gonna do six and seven on my end. Over. One is disconnected, but six and seven, four and five are now not usable. Over. I'll see what I can do right now. Over. I do believe I have no leaks on my end. Could you eliminate all of the leaks on your end? Over. I so like that sound. Over. Jam, if that isn't a checkpoint and we have to do this ever again, I will scream and cry. Over. Uh, wowzers. <laughs> I just, I see a man-eating plant. Over. Yeah, I think the vines for it are in my room. Over. Alrighty, well, there's going to be a checkpoint. I now see a lot of drawings that correspond to what you have. Also, are we potentially in the same room? Over. Don't think so. Over. All right, just I saw a ton of instruction. I thought that was uh, you as well. Uh, well, uh, I'm going to quickly look for you again, and if I don't find you, then it's a checkpoint. Over. Jen, this is a pretty small room. I can see the entire room, and there's only two illustrations that are standing right next to me. You are not in the same room as me. Over. All right, so this is then the next stage, and there's a lot of plants, uh, a lot of water. I can send stuff to you. There's that man-eating plant as well. It has the next piece of what I need by the looks of it. So we're going to leave that until next time. Over. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Uh, bye, Jam Stream. Thanks for coming. Over. Thanks very much, Ari. Sorry I was a dumb dumb at some points. Over.